Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the introduction to software engineering. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in software engineering or you want to, uh, you are a student and you want to become a software engineer. So, or uh, you are already a, a person working somewhere as a software engineer. So let's uh, start friend, uh, first of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend what is software engineering and the term software engineering is the product of two words software and engineering. The software is a collection of integrated programs, the software subsists of carefully organized instructions and code written by developers on any of various particular computer languages. Computer programs and uh, related documentation such as requirements, design models and user manuals. Engineering is the application of scientific and practical knowledge to invent, design, build, maintain and improve fire frameworks, processes etc. Software engineering is an engineering branch related to the evolution of software product using well defined scientific principles, techniques and procedures. The result of software engineering is an effective and reliable software product. Why is software engineering required? Software engineering is required due to the following due to the reasons like to manage large software for more scalability, cost management, to manage the dynamic nature of software for better quality management, need of software engineering, the necessity of software engineering appears because of a higher rate of process in user requirements and the environment on which the program is working. Huge programming, it is simpler to manufacture a wall than a house or building. Similarly, as the measure of programming become extensive, engineering has to step to give it a scientific process. Adoptability If the software procedure were not based on scientific and engineering ideas, it would be simpler to recreate new software than to scale an existing one. Cost as the hardware industry has demonstrated its skills and huge manufacturing has let down the cost of computer and electronic hardware, but the cost of programming remains high if the proper process is not adopted. Dynamic nature The continually growing and adopting nature of programming hugely depends upon the environment in which the client works. If the quality of the software is continually changing, new upgrades need to be done in the existing one. Quality management Better procedure of software development provides a better and quality software products. Characteristics of a good software engineer The features that good software engineer should possess, uh, possess are exposure to systematic methods, Familiarity with software engineering principles. Good technical knowledge of the project range like domain knowledge. Good programming abilities. Good communication skills. These skills comprise of oral, written and interpersonal skills. High motivation. Sound knowledge of fundamentals of computer science. Intelligence ability to work in a team, importance of software engineering. The importance of software engineering is as follows, reduces complexity. Big software is always complicated and challenging to progress. Software engineering has a great solution to reduce the complication of any project. Software engineering divides big problems into various small issues and then start solving each small issue one by one. All these problems are solved independently to each other. To minimize software cost, software needs a lot of hardware and software engineers are highly paid experts. A lot of manpower is required to develop 
software with a large number of codes but in software engineering programmers project everything and decrease all those things that are not needed in turn the cost for software product productions becomes less as compared to any software that does not use software engineering method to decrease time anything that is not made according to the physics projects always waste time and if you are making great software then you may need to run many codes to get the definitive running code this is a very time consuming procedure and if it is not well handled then this can take a lot of time so if you are making your software according to the software engineering method then it will decrease a lot of time handling big projects big projects are not done in a couple of days and they need lots of patience planning and management and to invest 6 and 7 months of any company it requires heaps of planning direction testing and maintenance no one can say that he has given 4 months of a company to the task and the project is still in its first stage because the company has provided many resources to the plan and it should be completed so to handle a big project without any problem the company has to go for a software engineering method reliable software software should be secure means if you have delivered the software then it should work for at least its given time or subscription and if any bugs come in the software the company is responsible for solving all these bugs because in software engineering testing and maintenance are given so there is no worry of its reliability effectiveness effectiveness comes if anything has made according to the standards software standards are the big target of companies to make it more effective so software becomes more effective in the act with the help of software engineering software engineering basics the true work of software engineering begins before the product has even been designed and the software engineering basic uh, basics dictate that it continues long after the work has been completed it all begins with a thorough and complete understanding of what your software need to have this includes what the software need to do the system in which it needs to separate and all of the security that it entails security is one of the software engineering basics because it is so essential to all aspects of development without tools to help you better understand how your code is being built and where any security problems may fall your team can easily become lost in the development stage software engineering design basics require creating the instructions for the computer and the systems much of this will take place at the coding level by professionals who have comprehensive training still it is important to understand that software engineering is not always a linear process which means that it requires thorough uh, vetting once it has been completed does all software require software engineering no not all software requires uh, software engineering simplistic games or programs that are used by consumers may not need engineering depending on the risk associated with them almost all companies do require software engineering because of the high risk information that they store and security risk that they pose software engineering helps to create customized personalized software that should look into vulnerabilities and risk before they even emerge even when the software engineering principles of safety are not required it can also help to reduce cost and improve customer experience types of software engineering Software engineering studies the design, development and maintenance of software as a umbrella of definition 
still there are different types of software engineering that a company or product may need problems tend to emerge when software is low quality or is not properly vetted before deployment there has been a lot of demand for software engineers because of the rate of change in user requirements statuses and the platform we use software engineering works on a few different levels operational software engineering software engineering on the operational level focuses on how the software interacts with the system whether or not it is on a budget the usability the functionality the dependability and the security traditional software engineering this type focuses on how software will react when it is changed from one environment to another it typically takes some scalability or flexibility in the development software engineering maintenance recurrent software engineering focuses on how the software functions within the existing systems as all parts of its change software engineering functions of all parts of the software development life cycle including analysis design development testing integration implementation maintenance and even retirement it is important to understand that software engineering is not a new practice but it is constantly changing and can feel new on a regular basis as our scientific and technical knowledge grows so does the skill set required for software engineering software engineering is different from other branches of engineering in that professionals are working at least at the start in theory instead of with something real software is used in everything around us so it is important to ensure that all software is working properly if it does not it can result in loss of money loss of reputation and even in some cases loss of uh, other issues as well so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends